Laparoscopic Radical Nephrectomy, Patient Education Video, Surgery and Narration by Dr. Kevin Zorn. The following video will highlight the individual steps that comprise a laparoscopic radical nephrectomy. In short, there is generally seven steps to this procedure. The first is the patient positioning and laparoscopic port placement. Since the instruments are fixed around this pivot point, it is important that they are properly placed. Second is mobilization of the colon medially. Third is the lower pole transection and identification of the ureter and posterior psoas muscle. The fourth aspect is upper pole mobilization. The fifth and the most crucial and delicate is the hilar dissection and control of the vascular pedicle. The final aspects are the final liberation, the entrapment, and finally case completion and skin closure. Indications for the surgery usually entail a very large mass that is not amenable to a partial nephrectomy. The following case presentation is of a 51 year old female with an 11 centimeter renal mass which enhances as can be seen on the CT. On the left side of the screen is her right kidney and on the opposite side is her normal contralateral kidney. Note the size difference and the color discrepancy. The central aspect of the tumor is very heterogeneous and shows central necrosis. It is for this reason that the gold standard treatment is a radical nephrectomy. This can either be done through an open approach or through a laparoscopic approach. Surgeon experience and the level of extension of the disease makes the decision between those two. Also note the large parasitic vessels that are around this tumor which make its dissection particularly difficult. Step 1, patient positioning and laparoscopic placement. As mentioned before, this is, plays a crucial role in how a laparoscopic procedure will be done. When we compare the final outcomes and the size differences and the lesions that are made from the skin opening, it is easily understandable why these patients can recover quicker through a laparoscopic technique. In short, very small trochars ranging from 5 to 12 millimeters are placed in the hemi-abdomen. This allows for the bedside assistant to transmit small instruments through to do the surgery through a gaseous working field. Step 2. Mobilization of the colon medially. This aspect of the dissection is very important to create a larger working space in which to identify the kidney and perform the dissection. Lower pole dissection usually involves the identification of the ureter and the gonadal vein. These two are transected and allow for the surgeon to work toward the renal hilum. Step four is upper pole mobilization, in which the surgeon's attention is drawn toward the area of the adrenal gland, as well as dissecting the kidney free from the spleen or the liver through all tissue down to the psoas muscle, which is the posterior plane. This liberation of both the lower pole and upper pole sets up for a much more easier and larger working space renal hilar dissection. Step 5. Renal hilar control either through the use of hemolock clips or the vascular stapler. In laparoscopic surgery, these can be either completed with individual plastic clips or the use of titanium clips in a vascular load so as to ensure complete hilar transection of all major blood flow. This is the most crucial aspect of this surgery. The final steps of the surgery include the final liberation of all small attachments, the entrapment in a special endocatch bag and its removal through an extended incision, and finally case completion and skin closure. Patients are usually kept overnight for at least one night or possibly two after which they are likely discharged. Skin incisions are closed with an absorbable suture and the Foley catheter is usually removed the following day. Blood levels for kidney function such as creatinine as well as hemoglobin are monitored. The patient is followed up in clinic two to four weeks after surgery to discuss their final pathology. This completes the overview of the laparoscopic radical nephrectomy. The following videos will have more case-specific 
aspects of the surgery. Thank you for your attention.